Hi guys, Andy here. So you may recently have watched my Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 unboxing in which I was very disappointed to find out I had adware baked right into the ROM of the device. You see me there dismissing it from the notification bar. Now it's not totally unheard of, I had read on the internet how some of these Chinese ROMs, they basically get adware written into the ROM, but when I had this uh, full screen advert for Tesco pop up, on my uh, on the no, on the device, I thought oh, I've got to do something about that. So off I went to Xiaomi's website uh, to to download the official ROM, so I can install that over the top of this dodgy ROM and fix all of my problems. So when you get there, you see you've got a stable ROM, which is fine, and then you've got a developer ROM, which uh, is based on MIUI seven. So that's the one I wanted, but I just could not get it to download. I mean, even here, I click the I click the button, and it doesn't open up for ages and ages. Even when it was open up and I was trying to download it, it was only partially downloading the files, sort of 6 meg or 18 meg or 30 meg, and then it just stopped with the connection error. Could have been a problem at my end, but I thought, all right, let's go and see. There must be these ROMs available somewhere else. So if you put into your browser Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 ROM on a buy forum, you'll be presented with this page. Then click the one for the Redmi Note 2, and then go ahead and click the download link. No problems there. It downloads in about, for me, about 30 minutes. Um, it's only a, well, it's a 700 meg file, so 30 minutes seemed okay. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and plug your phone into your PC. Now, if, I did notice the instruction said to put the file on the SD card. So there will be a point here where I browse to the SD card to find the file. Uh, and actually, when it was on the SD card, it didn't work. You find me that on media device, MTP, by the way. Um, it basically said it was a corrupt download. So I thought, okay, well, let's put it onto the actual device. When I'd seen how it works, you can browse to where the folder, uh, the file's kept. So I just posted it, pasted it into the downloads folder. And then when you get the choice, that's where you go to find it. So that copies over, no time. And then we go to the device and we go to the updater app. Wait for it to do its regular check. And once it's done that, you get three dots in the top right corner. We're going to tap them and uh, choose where the file is. So this is the point where this was an older recording when I'd had it on the SD card, but you would just go to the downloads folder now. There's the file. You tap on it. It basically sort of boots itself back into recovery and applies the zip file to itself. It's quite handy. It's quite clever. It's quite a neat way of letting you do updates. Um, it is quite a slow process. So even here, we're waiting some time before it then sort of starts to reboot. So I cut out a fair bit of this you didn't want to see, and eventually it did start to update. I thought, okay, it's moving quite quick now. Maybe it won't take too long. Um, and then I thought, oh, well, actually, because even when it gets to 99, it hangs for quite a long time. So at this point here, I'm going to speed it up by 10 times. So you get on here, right? So you see it gets to 99%, and it hangs there for quite a long while. So I thought I'd tell you a joke while we wait. Um, I went to a zoo the other day. It just had one dog in this zoo. Just one dog. That was it. Nothing else. It was a shit zoo. You get it? Shit zoo? Okay, never mind. Thought I'd give it a go. Anyway, we're still waiting, look. So that's been... We've been like half a, half a minute at 10 times speed. So at 10 times speed, you can see that bar is gradually moving across. Gradually moving. You'll be glad to hear. I haven't got any other jokes. There's no more. But here we go, right, well now we're coming out the other side, so that does take a good old time. I, it's basically trimmed down from about seven or eight minutes. We're now back to uh, real time speed. And that's it, finally opens up. And there we are, and I'm thinking, oh, is it, is it fixed? Have I got any ads in my notification bar? Bit of a waver there. So it's still the first boot on the ROM. It's going to be a little, a little laggy. And actually, when I go into the update, it says there's a new one. So obviously, the one I downloaded isn't the newest that they've got. Um, but now it's back onto sort of the official ROMs. But I won't update just now because I see you don't. You've just seen one update. You don't want to see another. Um, so any sign of ads? I'm waiting. So it's a little bit laggy here, just because I guess. It's uh, it's still sort of sorting itself out, having been booted up. And again, actually, I'm not really sure why I'm going into themes. Let's have a look at the notification bar. There's no sign of any ads. It says there's the update available. It also says update to MIUI 7 and choose a theme. So, okay, why not? Let's uh, let's apply a different theme just to 
I don't know if that was necessarily needed to then actually progress to MIUI 7, but we'll press it anyway. And there we go. And you can see at the top it's telling me the update available, update now, but again, I'll leave it for, for the moment. Um, so all looks to be okay. Oh, it's asking me to sign into my... So I don't think it asked me to do that in the, the dodgy ROM, so... And still no sign of advert, so I'm quite confident, hopefully it's fixed. So there you go, if you're like me, you've got this dodgy adware riddled ROM. Hopefully this uh, this video, oh it's, oh, it's might have been downloaded a bit now, fair enough, no worries. Hopefully this video will have helped you. That's all from me. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.